This is 96.5 Bolton FM. Boris Johnson has resigned as Prime Minister after less than three years in office. It was constituencies like Bolton North East in Greater Manchester that got Boris Johnson into power, part of the so-called Labour Red Wall that in 2019 turned blue. When you come to a constituency like this one, which turned Conservative for the first time in decades back in 2019, and you ask people, why did you vote Conservative? You'll often hear three things. First, that they believed what the Conservative Party was saying about Brexit, then about levelling up. But really, it's because people say they liked Boris Johnson. And that inspired some people to vote Conservative for the very first time. Hello like Anne Griffiths, who lives at a very different number 10, with her bulldog, Winston. He was a big character, and he said what he felt. Sometimes it was wrong, maybe it wasn't politically correct. Who gives a damn? I still think he cares passionately about England and Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland. And do you believe there is anyone else within the Conservative Party that would persuade you to vote for the party again? No. Quite simply, no. And the reason I have fought so hard in the last few days... And the loss of those votes could be significant. The Tory MP here won in 2019 by the slimmest of margins. His supporters fear he wouldn't win again. I'm very disappointed because um, I think the Red Ball uh, constituencies are just going to go back to being Labour because uh, Boris brought the Red Wall down and he got, he got their attention and they wanted him. Working class people actually wanted to vote Conservative for the first time. I think that's lost now. How did you feel seeing the resignation speech today? It was a bit of a sweet moment. I think people have expected it for a long time. Will Bruce has always voted Labour, but today, for him, it didn't feel like a day to celebrate. I think he needs to go now. I think they need to actually have a, cha a real change of leadership so that basically we can actually kind of deal with the issues of the country that are being like with inflation and fuel crisis, especially in a poor working class town like Bolton. This is a place with many social challenges. For some, the Prime Minister's resignation feels like a relief. Since the Prime Minister was found to have breached the rules he set up himself, I think he should have gone. Really, I don't know why they kept him there. He was just a lame duck, so more, or, more or less, really. It's a bit of hope now that somebody else could be there, that we have a new team that is going to give people hope and uh, more confidence. For the Conservative Party, the pressure is now on to find a leader who can make sure that votes lent in 2019 return next time. Catherine Fatotzi, Sky News in Bolton.